Let's talk about what wealth actually is. What is wealth? Somebody tell me, there's a couple hundred of us out here, what's wealth? It's assets, assets are assets. What else, what's wealth? Opportunity, freedom, what's wealth? Great point. See, if we're gonna bridge the wealth gap, we have to define and understand what the hell wealth is. 250,000, hell no. That's pocket change. Even $10 million, King, ain't wealth. Even $100 million ain't wealth. Even a billion dollars isn't wealth. I'm going to explain to us, we're going to learn today what wealth is. What wealth is. I need up to say an abundance of assets. No, y'all got to work with me today. I'm leaving. I need up to say an abundance of assets. There you go. Say it with your chest. Say it one more time. An abundance of assets. Y'all, I'm coming for y'all's y'all town. Hold on. I need town to say that supersede liabilities. Town, come on now. I need town to say that supersede liabilities. I need up to say an abundance of assets. Town that supersede liabilities. I need everyone to say an abundance of assets that supersede liabilities. Everyone say, and debt. and debt. Let me explain this to you in layman's terms, why I said no matter how much money you got. This is why our community broke as hell right now. We're confusing money with wealth. See, what wealth is, is when you have an abundance. What's an abundance? An overflow, a plethora. Exceedingly. Where you have many assets, an overflow of assets. Assets can be cash. What else is assets? Property. Property. What else is assets? Some art can be assets. Stock can be assets. What else is assets? Credit's not an asset. Land. Businesses. Franchises. Things that hold or appreciate in value. Things that hold or appreciate in value. So that's half a wealth. That ain't all the wealth. I ain't done. We said wealth was what? In abundance of what? Let's say it again. In abundance of assets? Let's say it again. In abundance of assets? that supersede meaning. Supersede means these assets have to be substantially more than our liabilities in debt. So, name some liability in debt, please. Cars. Your debt, your mortgage. How about those caught in what I call the college trap and them damn student loans? Student loans? Credit cards? Anything that is a debt that you owe or anything that depreciates in value, meaning goes down in value. So, you may have a billion dollars, or as King called, a quarter million dollars, don't matter. But if you owe $1.5 billion in debt, are you wealthy? No. See, we as a community have this misconception that, hey, 
I went to school, I got good grades, and did what? Yeah, y'all did it. You went to school, got good grades, and did what? You got a job. And then you might have got a good government job. You might have made some money out the corner trap, out the college trap, out the corporate trap. It don't matter. It's all still a trap. And so you thought because now that I went from making $35,000 a year to $70,000 a year, and then 70, now I'm making, ooh, six figures. But all you did is went and bought a bigger car and a bigger house. Went on more vacations and got more sparkles at the club. So as your money and assets increased, all you did was increase your lifestyle and your liabilities, therefore you created no family wealth. You created nothing to hand down to your heirs. See, that's, that's bragging different. See, and I gotta speak to black men for a second, and men in general. It's so crazy, my wife did, you know, the poem Black Love, and she said, how could you call a black woman a bitch and go home and look your mama in the face? And I posted on my Instagram, I got so many black men, but like, yo, but man, what, what? What kind of man can't just accept that it's, it's, it's not cool to call your woman a bitch? We gotta change our overall principles of how we look at things. See, as men, we got soft somehow, we got diluted somehow, and we lost some core man principles, as I call them. If the black woman is not being uplifted, if she's not being respected, if the black woman is not feeling protected, whose fault is that? Who fault is that? That's the China man's fault? It's the Russia's man's fault? It's the European man's fault? If the black woman's not being protected, respected, it's the black man's fault. Period. Oh, but, 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 but some of them I know don't be acting like. She won't never act like a queen if all you do is pour into her something different. The grass is greener where you water it, king. You don't sow no seeds of love into her, no seeds of respect into her, but then you're mad that she's disrespectful. This goes the same thing when it comes into wealth in our families. So many black men are playing a game but trying to compete with each other about who could look the best, drive the biggest car, and have this non-substantive competition about who dripping the most, who swaggiest. No, let's brag about who passing down the most wealth to their heirs. Let's brag different. We bragging about liabilities, about how much money we can spend with the European designer or European car while your black ass is broke. We gotta change some of our priorities, some of our ideologies. I'm not saying you can't wear those things. I wear those things. I'm not saying you can't drive those cars. But what I'm saying as a leader and visionary for your family, King, and don't be mad at a little accountability because we hate when somebody get on us. We don't want no accountability. We don't want no tough love. What I'm saying is that as the leader and visionary of our community, not just our families, we are the leaders and visionary for our community, that we should be focused on how do we create more assets and create less liabilities and debt so we are truly creating wealth and not just being hood rich. We matured past that, we have evolved, we got more information now. So yeah, we might have grew up hood rich, that might have been what we did, blowing money fast. But how long do we do that? So it's about part of building wealth is about discipline and sacrifice. There's a whole bunch of cars I could drive that I don't. There's a whole bunch of things I could buy, but I don't because I'm focused on the big picture. Not just thinking about my two daughters, but I'm thinking about their children, my heirs' heirs. That's real man shit, excuse my language. So for the men or women, that's the kind of passion we have to have and the kind of focus we gotta have.